<laughs> Perfect. Hey everyone, it's James, also known as Flagman. Welcome back to Splatoon 3, and the Spring Fest is still going on. And well, we got a friend coming up, so I guess without further ado, let's get them. Let's get them on right now. <laughs> anyway. See if our friend is able to join. Sorry, I'm streamer. I'm sure we're both. I wasn't hey, the same fine. one. <laughs> yeah, Ready to rock like, and roll? Just... <laughs> yeah. Take your time. Yeah, I'm good. All right, good. Okay. Two. Yeah, fucking not. <laughs> I haven't streamed in a while, okay? Hey, it's and... all good. It's all good. I, I haven't actually streamed... The only I only I took a break off from stream because I had college exams. Well, but now I'm done yeah. college for a while. <laughs> yeah, I've just been quote unquote procrastinating. I say quote unquote because well, hang on, where is? Do we? Uh, oh, frick, hang on. On. Take your time. I'm just gonna practice in the lobby. I'm sure, yeah. I just realized VTube Studio wasn't on the right monitor. Hmm. To move it over. I'm kind of crap. Good news, it's some bit of good news. I am going to finally have, I finally have a doctor's appointment made, made up to get. All right, uh, hang on. Get the ADHD meds. All right, so we're going to be probably playing. We're going to have some viewers be playing us today. Cool. Well, I can still have two of us right now. Actually, also, I'm just going to actually. Part of the reason why was. Go ahead. Actually, part of the reason why I was procrastinating is because as I was making a new chat model. <laughs> I see. Look at my... Yeah. It's got whip on its dot right now because it's still a work in progress. Well, I'm actually going to create a pool for this Splatfest. And I'm going to call it Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, after the Looney Tunes character. Yeah. And I, I will think there chat this as, my chat this as well. Alright. Okay. Alright. Looks good. Should double check. Okay, I'm gonna leave the pool I'm in currently. Alright. I'm gonna create a room and then, um, you can hop right in. Okay. Friends. Alright. Yeah, like, you know about this, but I still haven't beat side order yet. So, you like, still haven't beat side, side order yet. <laughs> no, I keep procrastinating on it. <laughs> well, I'll you're no I'm such a I well, might start, no such... start tomorrow, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, password? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I need to send a notification out. Alright. I know it's bad. <laughs> All right, we'll see if anyone else wants to join in, and if I don't have anyone within at least three seconds, um, we'll just go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know. I still touch side work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong. It's just <laughs> I'm in a mental funk lately. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I've almost finished all the pallets. 
I only have to finish Merch's, um, Octavio's, and then I have to do Agent 8's palette. Yep. Yep. Alright. I think we'll start. I'll see if anyone else wants to join it. We'll see if any viewers hop in, come by later. Um, let them know yeah. the pool is Bugs Bunny. Passes 5, 4, 7, 4. And it's going to remain the same for the rest of the, for the duration of the stream. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I think my problem is like I stuff. I just like it's my own stupid mental blocks of the fact that I haven't finished my personal VTuber model. Mm. Model, I keep thinking playing playing some other stuff. Mm. stuff but I just forgot. Oh, I can just do it on my own time if I don't really, if I don't want to. True. To like stream it. <laughs> I will just say, just be aware of what you get of of what's ahead for you. You're there is going to be uh, you're going to be you're going to be actually scaling until the hour. And reportedly, everyone thinks that side order is just Pearl Marina quote, making quote-unquote love in an elevator. Not surprised. <laughs> like the Aerosmith reference? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bitch. Already a double battle? Yeah, I did play one match earlier. <laughs> you say you don't I'm see that match you should have try hard. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was playing early. Earlier, and there's this try hard. Try hard. This guy, like, it try hard in a double battle. Like, dude, why? I had several battles um, with Hyper Tiger and his friends in the Hyper Tribe last night. Um, yep. Who were doing yeah, I saw that. Don't worry, I got the Wiper Deco. I should be able to launch 10 of my sauce to everybody. Yeah. Right. Oh, have you not got your hands on the new Spring Fest gear yet? Oh, no, I have. I'm just not wearing it. Hmm. I, 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 I started wearing it already. Yeah, like... Like, because, like I said it. <laughs> oh, so, no, you don't! Right, right, right. Like, uh, I've been oh, oh, lately where I don't wait, but I haven't been playing a lot of games. Yeah, I have a, oh my god, he put quick respawn on everything. He has free quick response on his sh on his Splatfest shirt. <laughs> Some people are just like that. Huh? All right, he's gone. Yeah, I have a thing about it. By, by the way, speaking of games and stuff, I'm thinking about, about it. since like I've heard uh, some stuff about maybe the pen that maybe the final season might be the next se season. So the sizzle. So, the next season will be last. Yeah, I've heard. Like I was like, wasn't I was like in a VC where they were talking about the patch notes, and, and they read something said said the next for the penal. This is like like our last update before the penultimate mid season, I think. I think, but they just talk up rumors. Rumors to just stay the safe, mm. on the safe side. I, I'm pretty sure we will get an extra year of, uh, of, of fests and events and other stuff because, like, the free theming. It would make no sense for us to only get two years of content. Yeah. Oh, I, I dodged right into that. Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. But what? In other words, I'm trying to say. So yeah, this is basically just an over Hey, way of saying. Saying we, I think you and I need to make, to make like a make a group. We'd be able to do like our own version of Ooh a Wednesday or Mac and Cheese. Really? <laughs> that would that would be some, a bad idea. Uh, yeah, it's some way. Get people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping Hoenn brings his Chaos Thursday back this summer. Uh, Chaos Thursday, yeah. Like I play with CG, CGV every now and. Then. Again, but they're like. Oh, I ran the CVG last night. Actually, he's on Team Bear Cubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna sir. So if you ever like go go like, so if you like jump into VC while I'm streaming, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> or watch other streams, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so welcome on in, area confirmed. How you doing? Oh, it looks like he's on team. It looks like, um, here and for confirmed. If you got a copy of Splatoon for your Nintendo Switch, um, uh, pool and password is already put up in case you want to join in. 
Mm -hmm. That's my hair. Reload. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Alright. I probably won't be able to play, play for about two hours today because I because I've also been cross gaining another thing, which is getting new glasses. <laughs> oh, okay, then. <laughs> yeah. I decided, okay, let's do it today. Today. Okay. Yeah, I'll prop yeah, I'll probably do the final la the last hour of the stream by myself. Yeah. Probably doing pro yeah. battles. Yeah. And anyways, um, you know what we're up against? Uh baby chicks and bear cubs. <laughs> Bear cubs is funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, we got a team. Huh. A real match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's called You're Done. <laughs> they have two arrow sprays, by the way. Yeah. Here we go. They yeah, they have two, like, the golden arrow sprays, by the way. Ah, crud. We have bomb spam, oh no. Just like we get rid of fizz bombs. Huh? Oh, welcome on Encore, Dowling. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> well, I know it's day, but... <laughs> it's just because usually I stream at night, so... <laughs> oh, I already splat somebody. <laughs> Traded. Funny trade. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, he's... He's gonna fire off a of blue bomb. I thought I could. I thought I could hit that guy with the ultra stamp. <laughs> well, all right. So, okay, we're losing. We're losing. Let's see what we can do. Ah, almost got someone. Don't worry, I'm catching up on him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, and I got some of his fizz bangs. Like, someone's trying to turn to invade the base. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah. Hey! Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, crud. I think I might switch to Aerospray after this match. Arrow... We have, um, arrow spray spanners in the base. Oh, crud. Okay, the blobber got them. Thank goodness. Alright. Okay, good thing they're out. Let's... Let's get rid of all this... Turquoise. This guy is a nice one. Alright. <laughs> Got your done. Perfect. I'm gonna try to storm their base. Actually, I got an better idea. I'm gonna set a barrage of missiles, then I'm gonna storm their base. <laughs> the tables have turned. Okay, you got. Okay, the guy has turned around to the base again. <laughs> Go. Thank you. <laughs> crud, crud, crud. Alright. I think we actually won this one. Oh god. I need to switch to something with that rank recovery. <sighs> <laughs> it looks funny. Yeah. 
Alright. Oh, Daisy, whenever we're back. Alright, I am gonna get my... I'm gonna get my arrow spray. And mm -hmm. we can keep going. Okay. I'm messing with that... The Empiri Duelies, I think these are called? Is that what's yep. pronounced? Do they have Chromie Bonds and Triple Splashdown? Yep. Then you have the Empiri Duelies. Yep. Oh my god, I'm just, the cards are ending. I haven't checked out the Splatoon manga in a while. I wonder what's going on with that. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I've actually, I'm gonna say this. I saw the costumes for the Squid Sisters uh, for this Splatfest, and honestly, I thought they looked amazing. Yeah. I actually, I actually saw haven't seen, seen those, but I'm pretty sure I'll find Fanner if I look eventually. Ah! Uh -huh. Again. Uranium. I'm kind of surprised this is happening. I feel like they've been trying to give Fry the most popular option to like help to get like, help her win once, but whoa, 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 once... whoa! No, that is just that's just setting her up for failure. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. The most popular say, team doesn't say, always say, win. Like, looks like I've been shooting, shooting her herself in the foot recently, though. Well, every time, though. Here's the thing: Shivers' teams usually happen to have the more competitive players. Yeah. That's true. True, I think. Fries have, have you had more casuals? Oh, oh god. I actually I believe the reason why Team Saturday lost is because we were bloated with kids who don't know how Splatfests work and think they're like the Canadian federal election or something. <laughs> I know you don't like talking about politics on your channel, but I was caught my dad watching something about politics and like just talks about the fact that Donald Trump was farting in court. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I, like, like the guy was talking about it in such a straight face way. It was not, no way. No, how could you not laugh? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! At least this is a mirror match, so I shouldn't be worried that we're losing. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry, but I just had to bring that up because. <laughs> oh, I thought that was actually pretty funny. I, I needed that. I have a humor of a child. I need some child. comic relief right friend. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna blame our loss for the weekend's flatfest on the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, all of us Team Saturday members were doomed for the start because of the theme, so I mean, that's what you get, that's what you should expect. Yeah. Now, welcome on in, um... Koyune, I hope I said that correctly. Yep. There you go. The only other thing I gotta start doing is apparently a lot of YouTubers do just, just chat chatting for the first star to help, like, like get people to feel in. I should... I start doing that eventually, but I barely have enough people that show go up. Well, we'll see. You never know. True. Well, I'll have to experiment with that when I finally finish my model. <laughs> Which I have started the rendering process on, um, but I have decided to tweak a few things as well. At least this was a mirror match, so I'm fine losing this one. Yeah. Let me open that up for a second. Go ahead. Yeah. Because, like, I might as well just show you some of the updates I've been doing with it. Alright, I'll take a look. Get going. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Are you okay if I press keep going? Oh. Yeah, they did press keep going. Alright. Alice up and done the mail monitor, right? I forget. <laughs> I'll just show you later. Later. All right, done. Okay, files in the middle monitor. <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, about what? those uh, Squid Sisters uh, costumes, I actually was talking about. Um, Can you send me a picture because I haven't seen. Them. All right. <laughs> These two look like characters out of Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> Actually I was the Actually I was more than like about like an Easter theme RuPaul's drag race episode. So because I recently like was watching like this one YouTube show tour of a of a game man redesign redesigning so things on the Candyland characters. Uh-huh. I, I just I, like that. I played Candyland as a child. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't the goal to the goal is at the end to get to King Candy's castle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was talking about how, despite how colorful the game is, it's kind of boring in the, the story of it. It's actually kind of boring. Mm -hmm. Because it was made to entertain kids in the same way Coco Melon is. It's like, just made to keep them busy. But, True. Yeah. I will say, I do like how later Pokemon games, especially from Gen 5 onward, do incorporate storylines. That's the yeah. third mirror match this game. Yeah, also, like, some people have pointed out how risky he. Risky he Gen 5 story was too. Hmm. You're basically fighting a cult PETA, PETA so what the heck? True. You're like, that's risk that is a risky story. I can imagine. Yeah. Like I said, this is gonna be the last time I ever go with the most popular team for a splat fest. Yeah. Because honestly, I don't want not only do I not want to get as much mirror matches, but I kinda do want to win a bit more splat fests. Number one, and yeah. number two, um, I would like to, I would like to stream with a uh, photon jet or tentacle a little, bit, uh, a few, a bit more, mm -hmm. um, mainly because they usually yeah. do go on to least popular teams. Yeah, I'm just kind of like one well, of those kind of people. That, like you've seen, I don't give a sh I, I am so indecisive. I don't really give a shit about what the caption is. <laughs> is it just? All right, there was a Splatoon like, invading our base. He's out. Yeah, like I don't really have strong opinions on stuff sometimes. I see. I'm just like give me like objective reasons. Exactly. And, and like if like if it, the reasoning is very like loose, I'm not gonna care. Hmm. You're like Splatfest themes. Like I think the only time like like back. I think the only stupid time. I might mean, have had an opinion. It was like the redo, the redo of the chicken versus egg splat. That's for. I think I just picked chicken, chicken because I like fried chicken and I used to enjoy Rooster Keeps content. I see. Yeah. I'm, I'm somewhat still new to Splat too, mainly because I only started playing um, in September 2022. Yeah. When the first game. I started came out. like I think just I think like just a three, two or three months after the Chaos vs. Order Splat Fest. Mm -hmm. Yes, or maybe, maybe, I think it was like, or maybe a year, I can't remember after that spot fest. I don't, I don't remember what year exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know about Splatoon's existence prior to Splatoon 3's announcement in the February 2021 Nintendo Direct. Yeah. And, um, and then, uh, as a little over time, I started to develop some interest in the game. So I see what it was all about, but I avoided actually buying Splatoon 2. Not a spike, but because I wanted to uh, start the game entirely new and have uh, no uh, and have no opinions going into it, so I can enjoy the game how I wish. Yeah.
Oh, I don't think I've. Wait, is this on a thing? I just remember. Remember, oh, like, I was actually looking at an anime convention, convention, and I saw they actually had some Splatoon amiibos there. There, and considering I know how bad scalping thing is, I decided to grab them. Hmm. Good idea. I got, I, yeah, I managed to get Kelly for 30 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. Because I know the squid systems are probably the most infl get the most inflated they buy scalpers on eBay from. Probably. Actually, I've managed to come across some uh eh. I actually came across some of the uh the Squid Sisters amiibos at Canada Computers and Electronics. Oh yeah, yeah, I got I got I got my small fr fr fry amiibo from Canada Computers. And... So I think for amiibos right now I have like all the Splatoon, like all, like the Splatoon who, who one one three pack. I got like the Inkling girl, Inkling boy, and Ink and the Inkling. I think I have have Inkling girl for Splatoon two, two, two Ink Inkling, playing for playing for Splatoon three, small for Fry and Callie. Hmm. Very good. Still been using have... yet, but. I have the Squid Sisters amiibo. I have the amiibo of um of the ink of the Splatoon one Inkling girl. I have <laughs> age. I have a uh, female Agent Eight. I have. Let me think this again. I have the uh fem the female Inkling girl from Splatoon three, and I have the deep cut amiibos. Yeah. Big Man is. I haven't got them. I've seen how big Big Man is from the Big Beyond video. <laughs> About it. The big Man amiibos. I yeah. remember getting the Big Man Amiibo from GameStop. Not only was it twice the size of a normal Amiibo box, but also he was extremely popular. <laughs> Not this surprised. This is Beer Match number five. <laughs> Welcome to Purgatory. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, yeah. I thought you just got a laugh and pain. <laughs> yep. I gotta start using these Amiibos. <laughs> It's like, like one stupid picture of a small frog. <laughs> oh. Okay, two people are partying. I will join in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're friends. All right. And, and the blast is upper blood. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! So I just had to end the party. Yeah, I, I remember during the handshake versus fist bump versus hug splat fest. Um, myself, Greg, fifty six, and Yin Yang. We got so many mirror matches that also we just started squid partying whenever we got a mirror match. That blaster just try hard. I actually, like, was recently like, watching a video, video, like, talk- It was, like, talking about the different types of player psychology when it comes to games. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, like, and I was, like, I was in, I think it was, like, who was it again? Ugh. Golden Apple. An owl, I think. It was the YouTube. Two. Two of Rowlet. He has a profile picture with a JoJo hat. Oh. And it's, like, yeah, I think, like, if you've ever seen, seen the psychology, if you've ever seen a video title, the psychology behind the Cynthia fight. 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 That's probably him. And, and he, like, I forget which video was it about. That was like, oh, yeah, it was like his video about, about how Patchy Reed. Reed. Sue. 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 One. Two, one. 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 The. One. The. Tw point, one, the tw Twenty. Four. Team. Team World Tournament Finals. <laughs> hmm. Finals. Like. Like, it's like so many. Because, like. Because it's kind of. He has a. What was it? I, you know, I'll just send you the video because I'm tired of Tyler explaining it. I'll definitely take a look at it if you send it. Yep. Alright. Yeah. I guess it's because it's interesting because it it is mostly about uh, just game, game player psychology. An Octoling died, and I couldn't tell if it was you or the other Octoling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, like I said. Yeah, but the fizz bang. Did they nerf the fizz bangs? Would be less I annoying. Or? I don't know. I'll say this though. Um, I'm actually surprised by the amount of people who actually play as the uh, female Inklings and Othlings. Like um, Hyper Tiger, Captain Fry, and a Squidman. Um, they actually, they act, they're all guys, but they actually play with the uh, the first two play with the uh, Othling girl, right, and the other one plays the Inkling girl. Hang on, that, yeah. You know, for some reason, I thought like that's what went by the end. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Never. I need to look this up. I'll have to okay, I need to ask the undead a question. I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna change my weapon. Okay. All right. We need. Mm -hmm. All right. I need. A, all right. Apparently, we need some tactical cooler. <laughs> yeah. On that video, huh? Oh, they try not to let it strike me too much. Let's see. Then I'm having to make like whole other play playlists because I've been used to use my likes videos to find videos I because I enjoyed, but because I can think YouTube edited the algorithm for them to like try try to to co combat content more for him. Terms likes is now what gets you know to uh, instead of just views. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still not thrilled they got rid of this like feature. All mm -hmm. right, we got baby chicks. Okay. We're gonna feel like Sylvester eating up Tweety. Wait, Sylvester? Wait, Sylvester? Is that the name of the cat? The cat that's always wait, is that the name of the cat that's always trying to kill Tweety? Yep. <laughs> yep. I used to watch his videos a lot. I never realized his name he was Sylvester. The Looney Tunes. That's looks like an old. Yeah, it's yeah. The Looney Tunes are really old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My dad used to like pirate a lot. Pop loud and to me, my sister could like watch them on the computer. I knew mostly about Looney Tunes from Warner Bros. VHSs. That's how I mm. knew about it. In fact, the only reason I knew about Pokemon is because at the time, Nintendo America licensed, uh, licensed home video rights to, of the anime to Warner Bros. Yeah, I think, like, I think, like, White, I think I actually did find Pokemon out through TV, because I know, like, YTV, TV, TV play, he played a lot, a lot of those, played English dubs of a lot of those animes made to sell toys. Yeah. Pokemon actually wasn't based off a toy, it was based off of a video game series. And yeah, but, yeah, but still kind of made more of a product. <laughs> True. I actually found out in, in, a, in a news story from Australia when Pokemon first touched down there that Gil Tilden, president of Nintendo of America in 1998, um, actually opted to have the uh, Pokemon anime come out in North America um, two weeks before the games as a marketing strategy. <sighs> Yeah, like, there is a marketing step behind. But, like, I, I know, like, part of the reason the Sonic Prime cartoon was made just was to make just to promote toys. <laughs> True. Like, yeah. the biggest cultural export from this country right now is Paw Patrol, which started as a toy line by Toronto based Spin Master. Before becoming yeah. a show on TV Ontario. And then Nickelodeon got the US rights, and now it's everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, I think, I think, like, it's only major competition. Like, excluding Coco, well, I think it's like its only major competition is Bluey. <laughs> Bluey. Mm. Okay, I stole a kill. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Like, two shows about dogs. <laughs> I'm just glad Paw Patrol, Patrol and Bluey are doing well, because well, Coco Melon is about nothing. Saying, apparently. <laughs> I mean, because it's a YouTube series, it, 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 the government. Like, the cold. Hold on. Yeah, sometimes I do hear about Bluey, um, most recently, I heard about Bluey is when Anthony Field um, of the Wiggles uh, ha had a guest appearance, a guest voice appearance on that uh, show, because Bluey's yeah. actually from Australia. Yeah. Great. Right. I think this could be ours for the taking. It's not we'll Jinx see. it. Yeah, this triple splash on my. Yeah. 
Jinx. You might have jinxed it. All right, let's see. Yeah, you I can already <laughs> tell you, social media is going to go insane if Shiver wins this Splatfest. Hey, guy looks like Cupcake. Hey, Jack, it looks like a rider. Her friends will soon long ago. This can look. Whenever I see, like, the, the top. I'm not with the brown skin. Tone and green in color, I just can't but think of Ryder. <laughs> sure, I think. You know, I feel like if they were to do a popularity con. I thought that's what two manga characters here's in the wet. Why I think Ryder would win? Hmm. And I think it's like I think like the only character who's like tolerable to tolerable to American to Western senses of humor. <laughs> humor. Right. Or, but yeah, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, a little surprised that there hasn't been a Nickelodeon collab uh, Splatfest yet because I know the because uh, I know the international Nintendo. There was, a, I think there was like a Spongebob, I can't remember if it was like Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2. Splatoon two, 1. Oh, Splatoon yeah, 2 oh, okay. um, did another oh. collab with Paramount Pictures where they had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm not too really popular on Nickelodeon right now. Now that makes sense for Star Switching Club. Hmm. Yeah, SpongeBob's hmm. also the only Nickelodeon cartoon from the not from the 20th century to still be airing. Which is pretty impressive, I, actually. Yeah. I think like the only other cartoon like that. I think there's like two other cartoons from the from, from the 90s. Is that like that? The Simpsons? Is the Simpsons, the Simpsons started in the 90s, right? Simpsons started in 1989. Yep, and the other one was actually thinking about the anime was One Piece. The anime, the One Piece anime. Because <laughs> hmm. I know that's Western, but still. I know that's Japanese, but still. I thought that's still going. Hmm. We might be seeing scripted. That's great, eventually. Wait, how long does the ball stand here? Okay. Wait, me and I just noticed. I'm gonna try to take that charger out if I can. Yeah. I gotta be real sneaky though. Yeah. It's like Metal Gear Solid. Oh, also, <laughs> Hi Squid eighty eight, how you doing? Metal Gear, I wanna play. I'm not gonna lie, I recently like watched a video on Metal Gear Solid Revenge. It's like, okay, I wanna play that now. No. Hmm. Now there's this channel called 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 Boy Meets Girl. Oh, has some really funny video <laughs> video videos of like two people playing video games together. <laughs> Basically, it started as this. Started as this chan. chan. You know, you know that joke. Joke about I like gamer, gamer, gamers. Like that. It's kind of like an outdated joke, joke about like, like how girls don't like video games and like, but like his. And if someone was a guy like saying, I made my girlfriend play, play this game, and but like she was like actually kind of interested in games. Like, because like about the first video starts with her, her saying she she can beat me at Mario Kart. <laughs> Why am I? <laughs> So I, okay, let's try to put. And like, apparently, the reason why I started, why I started like having her play other game, games is because she, guys, not only was she good, good enough to play with his gamer fr friends, but his gamer friends was like, hey, where is she? She, she went, she, she went when when she doesn't can come in, come in for game night. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> it's actually started with Dark Souls. The first video for that was Dark Souls, but <laughs> it started to, turning it into her act. Her asking him for games to play, and one of the them was Metal Gear Solid's Revenge. And, and how she asked for it was like, I want to play the game where, where the guy punches the U.S. Senator. <laughs> 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 That's true. <laughs> funny though. But it's funny and true though. <laughs> true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a few weeks ago I uh, finished Princess Peach Showtime. How was it? It was great. Um, if I had to say, I'm not, I don't know if I have personally a favorite um 
uh, favorite one of Peach's roles, but a lot of people really like the dashing B. One of my personal favorites would probably have to be the, uh, probably the detective one. Because honestly, all I could think of was Murdoch Mysteries when I saw Detective Peach. <laughs> uh, Murdoch Mysteries, I forgot. Is that like a Canadian? Yeah, like, it's is that Canadian. Like a Canadian. It is yeah. Canadian. It's, it's on CBC. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <I'm> <laughs> and it's and it's still running actually as of seventeenth. Mm. It's it's gonna be its eighteenth season next year. <laughs> okay, that was a cool winning emote. Yeah. It looks like some kind of gymnastics routine. <laughs> mm hmm I will say to the folks who want losing emotes back, I'm gonna ask this question. If I lost a match, would I rather see my inkling accepting their defeat or acting like a four-year-old? Answer me that question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did. I do remember like I was scrolling around, scrolling around Tumblr, and I found like this. Yeah, yeah, that showed like the losing, like a, the losing you had a Sonic game and a Sonic Party game. Uh -huh. <laughs> game it was just like so funny how the characters' personalities. <laughs> funny enough, it when I say Sonic Party game, I don't. I probably shouldn't have said that. That because apparently for shuffle? some reason Caesar and Sonic and the Secret number the, the game Sonic and and the Secret Rings apparently has a really goaded party mode. <laughs> And for no reason. <laughs> oh, apparently someone in my chat, they say the rest of their inklings acting like a four-year-old if they lose. <laughs> All one <dear. laughs> I'll write the video. Yeah. All right, it's battle time. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> Another for mirror match. For Captain. <laughs> also, I finally got like an off, like a third. Party Xbox controller so I can find like PC games on controller. <laughs> hmm. It's good because Sonic Generations have been sitting sitting there um, at my PC cor corner for a while now. <laughs> I'm actually planning to get the Sonic Generations remaster um for um, oh, for the Switch. Yeah, there were, there are some people saying saying it's still worth getting the original well, just because of the goaded mods. mods. I uh, <laughs> I never owned an Xbox 360 or PS3 at all in my childhood. <laughs> I think when, I, when they say that, they mean, you know, like, the PC version. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people saying, there's, it, saying that that's Sonic, like, so, uh, the Shadow, like, Shadow Generation will probably not be compatible with the mods. Mm. Which reminds me, if I ever do play Sonic, if, any of the Sonic Adventure games, I'm definitely going to be poking around the Sonic community. And you need to ask me, okay, so where are some, are there any mods to make sure this run, runs like how it was originally intended? Because I know, I think, Sonic Aven Adventure 2. Too, like has this issue issue where they, when they re-release say, say they just kind of copy a photocopy of it mm -hmm. of it so it degrades is it um is it based off of the uh, original dreamcast version or the gamecube re-release GameCube. sonic adventure 2 was actually the first uh was the first mm -hmm. ever sonic game on a non-sega system yeah yeah it's, uh, yeah it's yeah. I did try to play um, play early 2000s Sonic by playing Sonic Heroes on the PlayStation 2. Well, Sonic, Sonic Heroes 2 runs like crap. Sorry, Sonic fans, but I'm being honest. Yeah, don't worry. A lot of people do say that game runs doesn't run like crap. Crap. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's like one of the first. It's like there's a lot of Sonic games that you can tell was a victim of like exact rushing stuff. Uh, it especially was Sonic Sonic Sonic. Next. Next. <laughs> Yeah, I think you can blame that on uh, the president of Sega, Sammy Holdings at the time, Hisao Gucci. Probably the guy who milked Sonic into the ground in the early, early mid-2000s. 
Uh, yeah. Got so bad at several that Yuji Naka ended up quitting Sega because he was tired of making Sonic games. Yeah. Ugh. I'm glad Frontier. How makes you glad that Frontiers took five years? <laughs> years, years to come out. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that didn't, wasn't how long I spent developing hell, but still. So it makes you glad they took the time with that game. Game. I know not everyone likes Sonic Forces, but I thought it was actually- But I played Sonic Forces on PS4, and I thought it was cool to make your own Sonic the Headshot character, because- Yeah, I know, like, the fandom, like, makes it sticks. I know there's, like, a, there's definitely a side of the Sonic fandom who views, like, making Sonic OCs as cringe and stuff, like, thanks to, like, Sonic 2 and, and Ken Benders, but- Blind out on Just Sonic to get my shit. At, uh, at this point. I actually found out that, um, <laughs> that- Sega actually, um, after production um, of Season 2's Sonic X's English version actually finished, um, Sega actually used the uh, voice actors from 4Kids Entertainment for the uh, for the English language versions of the Sonic games. I was like, I for a while before they changed it. <laughs> I know some people don't like, like the changes, even to this day, but you kind of have to just accept it. You are right about okay. that. Like... Yep. I still remember the whole Chris Pratt as Mario thing. Personally, I didn't mind it. Like, I, I only I think Charles Martinet probably wouldn't have had the stamina to voice Mario in I Met Film, considering that guy is almost around 68 at the time the film was the film's voice cast was announced. So, yeah. And also, in 2023, he actually announced he was actually retiring from voicing. Mario. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I felt like it was gonna happen regardless, um, but I I didn't expect somebody from Genshin Impact to actually be the new voice of Mario. Um, well... The thing is with voice acting... The thing is with voice acting, you can... I think it doesn't pay a lot, so you kind of have to take as many jobs as you can, can which I think one of, was one of the reasons why Bryce Pappenbrook got so much bad stigma. Thing because like, like for some reason the anime dubbing studio just kept casting him and like, because, uh, it's like it doesn't pay. Like what that doesn't pay as well as some people say it does. He just kept taking the because like he needed the money of course, but of course he wanted the job. Um, so it's like oh my god. <laughs> I was like it was getting to the point where people were harassing him online like for how many roles he was doing, especially the lead character. Like I don't mind mind bro mind Pappenbrook as Bruno Kumara from Blue Exorcist, but yes, but. This, but yeah, I get the complaint. But yeah, but I, in other words, I'm still gonna say is I blame this, this, the, the Deppering Studio, who was not the actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it wasn't the Canadian English translation of Sailor Moon back in the 90s because that translation was known for being hell to record. They constantly had to replace cast members, and one of the voice directors actually had to move their, uh, move their bedroom into the recording studio in Mississauga. I I'm not okay. kidding. That said, you'll actually find a lot of exclusive merchandise for uh, Sailor Moon in Canada. Yeah, like, I don't- yeah, I've also kind of just noticed it, that in general. Yeah, for some reason- for some- like, there's this- For some reason, Canada can somehow get a lot of weird Japanese exclusive merch for some reason. I don't get- I kinda wanna know why. Why, honestly? Oh shit! Splatter color screen! This better not come back in Splatoon 4. I don't think it will. I did actually see what uh, Jacogian and uh, Mink actually did last night. Um, um, Jacogian would always throw the splatter color screens towards the base invaders. Oh, smart. And that's actually my tip, actually. If you get stuck with splatter color screen, and you don't mind getting reported by other players, just throw it back to your base, so you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. I even see other, uh, other strategies, such as throwing it off the map. Yeah. Personally, I have it's no- not Go ahead. No, no, you continue. I actually have no issues with Spark or Screen, but at least it's a good thing Nintendo did patch it out, so it wasn't as- 
that wasn't as terrible for people who did succumb to the effects. I'm just gonna say yeah. this, though. I don't think they're gonna be able to fully fix that thing, because... You can't please everybody. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why they have... That's why Nintendo's had cautionary warnings on all their packaging for video games, and I think... I think they started doing that after the seizure incident in 97 with the Pokemon anime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, if that, like, siege- if I have, like, the rumors behind that seizure in- about the whole- No, wait, that- it wasn't the seizure incident, it was the- it was the Lavender Town cur Curse for you, Pasta. So... There's a face in there. I was thinking of, because I remember, like, hearing that there was, like, Have you heard of the Lavender Town- Town Syndrome? Janichi Masuda actually had it confirmed mm. that was actually false. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if the, I feel like if that thing was true, Pokemon would not be where it what is today. Today. Mm-hmm. It's just like what the fuck. But it's crazy how a lot of folks think that apparently Pokemon's a first party Nintendo game. It is actually not. It is actually a second yeah. party. Mm -hmm. It's second party, yeah. Which does kind of explain something about it. And it's uh, it doesn't even... feel own full Pokemon fully. Um, ever since yeah. 2002, they relinquished um, two-thirds of control to other companies. Yeah. Yeah, which does kind of explain why Pokemon games can feel like they're a bit rushed sometimes. Because like, yeah. I know, because we all know Nintendo will delay, delay a game if it, they feel, feel like it needs to be delayed. <laughs> the problem with the Pokemon company is that they actually man is they actually, they manage a lot of the stuff for Pokemon, such as the such as not only the games, also the anime, the mangas, the cards, the toys, and yeah. apparently they think everything has to come out the exact same time. If you think that, why don't you actually make Generations now every five years instead of three years? Yeah. Yeah, like, I also remember, like, seeing a me, a me, meme, you know the, that meme of, meme of, meme of Marge going, Bart, no, and, I don't know, and Bart's behind. I know, I'm just like, mom, it's like, it's just like, sorry, force of habit. I remember, like, seeing, I, I think I've talked about this before as well, seeing people meme that, that, that like, it, that, but it's like, po and, but it was a place with Sonic, you know? No, <laughs> no, and like, scrolling battles over for Marge's face. Ace, Ace, and like, so, and like, Sonic Frontiers was over Bart's face. Ace, <laughs> it's like, like, sorry, force of habit. Okay, that's a panic. I put drinks on the bridge. Okay. It's like... <laughs> oh, no, you don't! Uh -uh. Just kind of... Just kind of... <laughs> the fact that I saw that game was the play. Play just... Play just... There are also, like, some people say, saying, like... I also, like, remember, like, here... I'm not sure where I heard this. There are some people talk... Talk... Talking about, 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 about if games get about if service games can win game of the year and like live service game, games can win game of the year here in here in the game in the year they have them they after like a, they've been released for two or three like one to three three year here's why can't games that have, have like made up that's been given up see DLCs that have major be considered for game of the year here even though they have have been out for a year. Yeah, it's longer the same than with how the um how apparently there's no such thing as categories for a uh, voice work or stunt work at the uh, at the Academy Awards, <sighs> which that would have been the coolest actually if they did that. Oh, well, like oh, like you mean best stunt then? <laughs> and also maybe break up the animation, turn into more categories instead of just best animated. Like, I constantly yeah, hear they really need more categories for animation. Like, seriously. Like, like the I closest they have is, an, is the Annie Awards, but even then, it's kind of like second place. Yeah. yeah, the fact- also, can I just say, the fact that Dis Disney has lo lost lost two years in a row in a, in a row for animation category is hilarious. <laughs> There's some really telling about it. I was shocked right Pixar now. lost twice, actually. Since yeah. they've won the most, um, best animated features. Yeah, like, I know Elemental did good internationally, but... I didn't see Elemental, but I heard people say it was very good. And honestly, yeah, I was, was amazed. Really 
with how well it performed commercially. Yeah, yeah, the, the problem was its marketing was pretty bad. Uh, like, it was marketed as, like, a Zootopia, but, but elemental creature. But, uh, but magic elemental creatures, but... But in reality, it was a rom-com. <laughs> um, true. Or, like, it was a full-on rom-com. Com I, I don't really care much for Zootopia. Yeah. Or, I, I'm not really much fond of most Disney films. But I will say, probably one of the things I liked about Moana was probably the part where, um was where Maui got himself his own musical number. Honestly, getting your boy Johnson sing is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. I haven't fully hear, hear it, but I haven't fully heard it yet. Yeah, but I do remember, like, like the, like the Rock has, like, this this show called The Titan. And it's kind of, like, like, extra, like, like, some extreme obstacle course. I do remember, remember this one woman who can be, be like, she brought her kids in to see, to see, See and to like, like help her one daughter. That was a little shock. Shock. I warm, warm up to the rock. He said, "Look, it's Maui." We and and, and the rock started sing, <laughs> singing sing Maui's song. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, I remember. Um, Alessia Cara actually recorded uh, "How Far I Will Go" for the uh for the single release. Yeah. Oh. My only complaint about one is that apparently people have very bad feelings about the fact that it's getting a sequel. Oh. Is that Polynesians? No, no, it's just just because people are pure. I think it's because of like people are a lot of people are, like doing posting that Moana to do might be the death F of Disney because they're like trying to milk stuff now. I'm um, not trying to make anything new, new and original, but mm. I don't know. That's just with how bad wishes people are just not expecting good things from Moana too. Too. Yeah, I was shocked that Disney tanked twice, yet Pixar was able to rebound. Yeah, it's a... As much as I hate... hate Cor ah. As you much as I canceled? hate Cor for Disney, Disney, it's... You can tell there was passion behind Elemental. <laughs> True, like, huh? the director of Pierre Sohn even actually dedicated it to his own parents. Yeah, because, like, it was... Yeah, it, it was... Because, yeah, it was... It's about, it was about immigrant fam families and depression. There's a there's all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, you gotta love Wade's character. Character. Mm -hmm. It's very to see male character characters that cry as much as he does. I'm gonna have. I got. I and, gotta and, watch and, this on Disney way, Plus when I get when I have time. <laughs> yeah, and another. And when I say, but it's good to see a male character like way that cries a lot in a way, way that like makes sense for his character, and it's not just a joke. Sure, there are some moments where Ray cry, where Wade cries that it is comedic, like his introduction. <laughs> but hey, but uh, guess who actually guess who actually did win a uh, best animated feature? I can't Wasn't remember. It, the, the, uh, Boy in the Herring. I think it was that one film by Hayao Miyazaki. Oh, I thought that was yeah, the only for a set. Yeah, it was Boy in the Herring. A lot of people were kind of holding it for a 2 Spider-Verse, but... You know mm. what? But seeing a 2D, 2D animated film laying against Spider-Verse is surreal. True. Like, there's still one more Spider-Verse move movie that they're gonna have another chance. Calm down. It's not the end of like, the world. Don't freak out. Like, you don't really <laughs> see anime films even get released in North America. Even at all. Like... There's very rarely foreign cinema, and Cineplex yeah. I've seen has started to try and advertise it more often. Uh, I do remember, like, I do remember like seeing, like seeing it at one of my lo my, my local indie theater, like seeing it advertised at one of my local lo local indie theaters. But uh, yeah, not too much. Hmm. Oh, we're actually doing pretty good, and I think we might be. I think this might be a not. Oh, this is a non mirror match. Yeah. I could, we were chatting so much I completely forgot. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, that reminds. Oh, I, this is kind of silly that thing because like I do like a cause, like I do sometimes doom scroll on Pinterest. I know people have some place up Pinterest right now, but ah, uh, I think I, we I lost this them. one. Yeah. But, I don't care. Here it's like I, it was like a fit, and I found some like elemental fit. Fi Fenner, but her but is like make them fur furry, but I'm like that looks more like Sonic art style. It's like that looks more like a Sonic art style than furry. 
Oh lord. And it was- no worry, it was cute. 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 But, cute. 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 <laughs> Low love the fact that they made Ember a cat. God, cat because it made me think of Blaze, but... I still okay. remember the post- I still remember those posters El uh, Pixar made to promote Elemental. They actually had to take down the one, um, with- with, uh, Ember because of the wildfires going on in Canada. Remember that last year when, uh, people started saying how New York looked like it was in a big run? <laughs> I actually don't remember because I don't- <laughs> It's like, I think last year I was trying to avoid social media. Can't remember my own. Oh, mental health reasons. Mm. Yeah, Splatoon fanbase can be... can be a little toxic at times. No, it was just... No, it wasn't even a fanbase. It was just, like, I think... I think I, I, I followed, like, some Tumblr accounts that were... that were, like, constantly reposting stuff about the world problems. Blah, blah. Problems, I'm like, okay... I recently unfollowed them. I'm like, I know, like, world problems, they... I guess... I get it. You got... I don't know what's going on. You got, you got, you got, to, like tell people what's going on, uh, on, uh, until like it can get solved. But, oh, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm one of those kinds of people that use the internet as a form of escapism. Yeah, I use the internet as a form of escapism as well most of the times. Yeah. So like, don't be upset about, upset, upset about, upset about like am falling because you're getting a little too real for me. Oh, what's my uh, friend code, Pietendo? I'm um, actually, after this match, um, if it's okay with you, Pygos, I'll break the room and I'll remake it and you can join in via the pool. Yep. Huh. I've been trying to integrate the pool system into my Splatoon streams because, I, because um, everyone else is doing it, but I haven't had much luck with that and I think that's because I play a lot of single player games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I might actually try to stream stream tomorrow. Tomorrow, and I'll either try to play things side order, order or side generation. We'll see. Mm. Flip a coin and decide what is heads and tails. Actually, yeah. uh, it actually heads should be side order, tails should be side generations. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got I got this thing, chat. I got this thing. Chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I spotted Spider Man. We'll see so here's here. something I actually noticed about the matchmaking for Splatoon, uh, for Splatoon mm -hmm. 3. Uh, you actually can get paired up with groups of friends. Yeah. Instead of, uh, having to just go solo. Um, I know it's gonna be probably several years off, but when they do make Splatoon 4, I would like to see, um, not only an option for regular battle solo, in addition to regular battle team, but I would actually like to see, um, I'd like to see the ranked modes be added to regular by rotation and vice versa with Turf War. I think if you put Turf War ranked, the Western comp scene might play it more and be more open to it. Cause, yeah. Because Vic Villon is the only uh, per only comp Splatoon player I know that actually, um, and Milana to an extent, who do like competitive Turf War. Eh. The Turf competitive scene's weird. <laughs> Don't worry, that's why I have no interest to go into to play it, but I like watching it. Yeah, I can see why it's fun to watch. But honestly, what but honestly I wish I lived in New York right now because they are so lucky with all the Splatoon events. And yeah. that the Rockefeller Center has the uh, Nintendo store. Speaking of, speaking of, of like go traveling to other cities, I don't think I'll be doing too many games at all. At all. Unfortunately. That's fine. Good. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely post about it on Instagram and X, so... Yeah. Hey, follow your name stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe if I like, get rid of the edge to go to Canadian Con, maybe I'll, I'll be going to one, too. Huh? Mm. like... Give me my... Like, I, did, like, I want to check out a talk, talk, but, like, this year's a talk with Tom, but it's, like, really kind of debatable right now. I feel like I went to Anime Ottawa this year. Oh, nice. Nice. I think, yeah, I think my hometown dad of uh, London also has anime uh, convention as well. In yeah, I think it's a little too far away from me. 
I think that's I know, I know, I know. I just thought I'd bring. I just want. Yeah, I'd, yeah, uh, yeah. You got, you don't get me wrong. I get it. And, like maybe we could be yeah, about Toronto call con con because that seems like a good midway point for both of us. That's my only problem. Is I'm not sure how I feel about the Anime North location. <laughs> I think, there's, I think there's Fan Expo in Toronto. We'll see. I'll have to check. I'll check Toronto cons. I have to say this, though. I think it's kind of sad that the only, um, that only Alberta has a massive, uh, Splatoon scene. Ontario's got a small one, and Quebec used to have a Splatoon scene, but it kind of evaporated in early Splatoon 2. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, I need to take my, take, take my hoodie off. I have my sweat smell like fried chicken. <laughs> mm. I know that's a little gross, but <laughs> Oh, that's having a fried chicken. Um, I remember this one episode of Family Feud Canada in the sudden death round where that girl guessed chicken is Popeye's favorite food. Several months after the episode aired, um, Jerry D uh this uh did a did a voice the Zoom meet. Um, and it turns out that um the girl who was from Winnipeg, Manitoba, actually got a check from Popeye's for ten thousand dollars. Oh, the restaurant, or the... the yes. <laughs> Wait, isn't Popeye, like, the weird sailor guy with the... with the corn pipe? Oh, uh, yes. Isn't is this for actually spinach? Yeah. <laughs> I will say this, though. <laughs> um, the uh, Popeye's restaurant chain, it was actually not named after the Sailor Man. The founders actually yeah, named yeah, it after yeah. the character Popeye Doyle from the uh, French Connection. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Speaking of like character characters of restaurant chain sharing me <laughs> names, I like, remember like I think I just taught this a while ago. I go uh, go, go about, about the reason why Sonic the restaurant change wanted to restaurant ch chain he wanted to do a collaboration. Change with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, like it was like so, something about how how like the restaurant chain came for first, but the Sonic games got more popular. The restaurant ch chain. Ch Chain, so they were just being petty. So they're just kind of like being petty and refusing. Hmm. On the topic of Sonic and restaurants, um, there are the lot, sometimes club. I get people often ask why Sonic and Knuckles was not called Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Well, allow me to explain. So Sonic 3 and Knuckles were actually supposed to be one entire game, but unfortunately, Sega of America, behind Sega of Japan's back, did a licensing deal with Sega that, um, that Sonic 3 would be oh. coming out. In, September, in December 93. Unfortunately, because Sega uh, Technical Institute, where Yuji Naka was stationed at the time, didn't have Sonic the Hedgehog uh, free finished yet. Because. You mean to have rollers? I have shots too! Like, there's like. The point is, you mean to have rollers, I think. Oh, I'm in their base. I'm in their base. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Like, I know there's, like, discord between Sega of America and Sega of Japan, but seriously, they need to calm down. Yeah. Um, like... Yeah, as Tom Clancy stated that, it was really after the PlayStation had come out that relations between Sega of America and Sega of Japan deteriorated. Uh, and the, uh... And the, inter everything. and the inner business politics is what led to Sega dying as a console manufacturer. Yeah. I know they still make crane games, but that's a different story. Yeah, Sega <laughs> still has a very strong arcade division. Um, for against World Records, they actually held the record for most arcade games ever made at 750 throughout Sega's lifetime since their founding in 1960. Yeah. By the way, I've also I've always kind of noticed whenever like we t I talk about the origins of Se Sega, Sega, it seems like it's kind of very mixed. There are some people say they start like they were Japanese, like they originally were founded in Japan by the Yakuza, as a, but I've always heard, heard they actually started in Hawaii. Yeah, of all places. Sega considers their founding date when the uh, 
considers 1916. I'm, and I think that might have been when the uh, Japanese uh, subsidiary Maven started. I do know at one point Paramount did own Sega. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it seems like they're on their own. It's that they're on their own. They're on, are they Sega's their own thing now? Yeah, Sega. Sega is their own thing now. They yep. um, they currently actually part. They um, they actually are part of a holding company with the uh, with a pachinko machine company called Sammy Corporation. Oh, pachinko? Yeah. That makes sense. And yes, the reward system of Grizzco is based off of the pachinko machines. <laughs> Oh, we won that one! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's a prize. I'm pretty sure, like, Pajinko is, like, one of Japan's most popular forms of gambling. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, like, like, some sort of ball game. Mm -hmm. Game where they just kind of fall. It's not pinball, but... <laughs> By extension, I found out Grisco is actually based off of the uh, black companies in Japan. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna change my, uh, I'm gonna change my footwear. Because I've already filled up this uh, Shivery Squid Kid free. Yep. Right. I have not to grind it out yet. I'm just still just grinding out the shirt. <laughs> that looks like somebody wants to play. Um, hang on a minute. Um, I'll break the room after this match. Yeah. That's not it. Oh, it's it. Anyways, not really much new has happened, except uh, a little ways, Captain Fry and Sky Strainer recently joined Insane. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's golden owl. Let's see. Found it. Hmm. Found the video. I was talking about the Apache Rooster video. Dang. I, I, I don't know why, but has your YouTube been doing this where it's been showing a stream, stream that's got like one viewer? It's that's like one watch watching lately. <laughs> I've have I have five actually on my end. Wow. This is the video I was talking about. <laughs> okay. And we encountered our ne our sixth mirror match. I or see first cup again. I think it's pretty clear we already know who's winning popularity. Yeah. So, here's something I actually took a look. Um, when they announce the halftime results, they only count uh, who's won the most uh, matches in open. Um, Pro and Tricolor only counted near the end. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I got ranked over the for next sense. How did you make turf war rank? That was the question. <laughs> Just got muttering it right now. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, I got drinks. Oh, also, welcome on in, Turbo or er, er, Erbo TJ. How you doing? Oh, he wants to know if he thinks we'll get 100x like last time. Because, <laughs> um, yeah. last Blackfest when I was streaming, um, I was doing pro battles. There's someone in our base, was... by the way. 
Ah, oh, crud, crud, crud. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah, that's freak up. Hmm. I have some under that. It's, it was like I can throw under that. Okay, there it's good. There it's good. Yes, yes, I remember, Erbo TJ, I remember winning against Team Drums on Manta Maria. Ah. Well, at least this was a mirror match. Yeah. Against tryhards, unfortunately. They're everywhere. Hard to avoid. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it will be hilarious if another Splatfest happens during Low Tide City in May in Austin, Texas. Because it seems like uh, they have a habit of <laughs> of mistakenly went of North America mistakenly scheduling their own esports competitions during Splatfests unknowingly. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna break the room, and then we'll get okay. TJ in. Okay, I got some conch shells to spend anyways. I usually like to save until the end to make a giant gambling video. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright, baby chicks want to 10x bow, so... I have 11 conch shells, nice, but I'm gonna use cash to play for right now. Oh. Oh, red one. You got a guitar and another squid cushion. Oh, got a banner. Oh, Photon Jet's on that team that won a 10x battle with baby chicks. Our, right. Our banner. Alright. There's, there's one Splatoon viewer that I saw. So, like, I wish that I, that I could find a full thing up. The, you know the Will It Bad Apple meme? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I think I saw someone, like, doing that with Splatoon tuning. Dang. Alright. Like, how? Like, like, just painting the floor. I'm like, how do you do that? Give me a minute while I try to get this guy into a match. Okay. back in because I have the remote. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Password, is it the same? Yep. Cool and password are the same. Oh. Rain. Uh, yes, Earl TJ. Alright. Oh, it's like hang hurting on. cats! Hang on. This is why I don't really do viewer battles. Alright. Let's go rock and roll. <laughs> oh, 
I got that. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, next Black Fest, whenever you do unlocking Copla Square, um, yep. you're, they actually have the ice. The uh, food truck actually turned to an ice cream truck, and a silhouette of a uh, of an octopus is actually party ice cream cone. <laughs> wait, wait, it's an ice cream truck truck now. Oh. Yes. Makes right. sense. Right. That's crusty. Sean's doing other things now. <laughs> I just saw this on Twitter right now. What does that show me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh. Aww. Sorry did if I did spoil is side that, is order. It just is it just decorative now, or is it the very good food now? I don't know. You can't get food from there anymore, unfortunately. So it's just decorative. Yeah. All right, um, TJ, um, you're are you ready to go? All right, we're ready to go. You're lost. You're lost. It's so squishy. So she can't. Come on. That's why I posted the the video a video of this of this. Oh, the chat model is that server. <laughs> yeah, also, the funny thing about Smallest is in the English version, um, uh, Smallest talks like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Elmer Fudd, I've never heard that name before, but what series is he from? Looney Tunes. He's the, mm. he's the hunter who tries to hunt Bugs Bunny, but fails disastrously. <laughs> By the way, most people don't even actually know that, um, that, uh, that the 1996 basketball comedy Space Jam, which featured only teams of Michael Jordan, actually was a, actually came out of a series of commercials which featured Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. <sighs> Alright. Red Prey. Yeah. All right, we got booyah bombs, krakens, crab tanks, and an ink storm. Okay, apparently my dad fell asleep, so I think we think we've been glass, we've been getting glasses up and moved to Monday. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn it. So I can, so I probably can't stick stick them all the time. Guess we're going for the whole three hours. Oh god! Explosher in my face! I got the, I got it. All right, I died, but I managed to uh, defeat the kraken swan roar. <laughs> Oh, I, I just died in your arms and I must have been something you said. I should have walked away. Alright, more fizz bangs to go. There's like no store box fireworks you can get at Walmart. Store box fireworks you can get at Walmart. <laughs> oh, crud, 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 I better get out of here. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't, can't cancel the video about nice, huh? Okay, I died. Good thing I had that tattoo cooler. And I just died! Super jumping back. Resting it! Oh, Bugsy's online. Oh, I managed to get rid of someone's crab tank. Alright, someone's on the base. But we better not get... Oh, we better not get ahead of ourselves! 
Fire bee? I thought it said frisbee for a second. Fire bee <laughs> or frisbee. <laughs> I just realized there's some. It's like that. That green looks like some really nice slime. Slime. It's probably just probably just people that make slimes that have made like a slime like that. Okay. Yeah, we lost this one. Mhm. Mm At least it wasn't a hundred X. Yeah. I got the bucket spin from Splatoon. That's from Splatoon 2, right? I didn't really play bucket much. Splatoon 1, actually. And, yeah. I do like the, the hog, hog, the splat link from Splatoon 1. Hmm. But yeah, um, a few weeks ago they did the uh, curling bomb challenge. I gotta find more of those challenges. I keep forget. Getting yeah, I'm just so bad here in track track of shit in this game. Yeah, it's just like I think I'm just like I think I've just been so focused on other things. I think I've just been so focused on other things and forgot to play games sometimes. I'll say this though, the Curly Bond Challenge I did a um I believe last weekend. Um it was fun, but unforgiving at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. They had giant curling bombs. Do you, have you seen? I thought you might mentioned this last time, but did you see that the news about Foam Stars and how it's lost, lost nearly ninety five percent of its player base? Foam Stars? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. I yeah. still remember wow. folks going getting mad when it was revealed that some of the album art was created by artificial intelligence. Even yeah. though Square Enix even stated it was an experiment. Yeah. Well, if an experiment's successful, that means they're going to continue doing it. <laughs> and then everyone considers, like, AI generated images art theft, theft anyways. Okay, so not everyone, but a lot of people do consider it. Especially artists. <laughs> oh, mirror match, by the way. Mm. Oh. <laughs> the fact that the splash dunk does that now, if you die, the other two still go off. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so funny. Honey, yeah. Just also... I know I'm feeling. <laughs> Game. What's that? Just. Like, it was also very obviously a, a Splatoon clone. Clo clo whether you say inspired by or ripped off, it doesn't ma matter. The fact that the director behind its head stopped comparing it to Splatoon 2 just kind of makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, just, that's like the. It just looks similar to Splatoon. I think that's what got a lot of people's brains. Yeah. I don't think they yeah, like, it off. Like, yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely do agree with some people that said they kind of, they wouldn't mind the idea of a Splatoon like becoming, like, Splatoon likes becoming a, like, a genre, a genre of gaming, like, gaming that could be fun, but, but yeah, but Foam Stars, but yeah. And there are other games that definitely have tried to capture the Splatoon feel, feel like Ninjal, Jalal, like Ninjala and stuff. And sometimes it can be from a, like, not even from other video games. I've actually seen a few comments states that um that it's a curious coincidence that the uh, Rocket League games almost resemble those uh those sports challenges from Canada's Worst Driver. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I'll have to check that out. <laughs> it would be funny. Have, have, have the Rocket League devs said, said they they were inspired inspired by Canada's Worst Driver? I don't actually, think wait, so. Wait, it's probably coincidence. Yeah, like, I've just realized, it would probably be very telling of what country Rocket League is from. I don't know. Huh? I think it might actually be from Finland. Okay. Because I'm not, I'm actually, not really sure. I think they're actually were worse. I can't remember, like, I know they're, like, a bit, I, you know, you know, like, like, there was a bit, bit, Ben Kingdom's worst driver. Fire, they've been, I guess they're called Netherlands Worst Drivers, and one of the drivers hit the ho host, but I'm not sure if that was like a bit or an actual thing. That was <laughs> like, an, I, I don't, I, can, I don't know, um, but I do know I that, like, um, 
Jerry, one of the final drives in season four, um, they came across tourists who were fans of Belgium's worst driver, leading to host so Andrew I've... Young's husband to acknowledge that so there were... I think were... there might be, like, worst drivers for, like, some other European countries, but... There was even one in Australia. I didn't know they tried to do, do a season in America as well, but they catch on. <laughs> it was That's because in most other countries, it's not an educational show. It's more about comedy based. Mm -hmm. Where I like where the comedy here on Canada's where Strider's a lot more natural due to its educational focus. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why it makes Canada's where Strider so enjoyable. It's clearly clearly about like safe driving education, yet it's so funny just because of because of like these ridiculous people they find. <laughs> find. find. Oh, sorry if I, I missed your just... messages, uh, Ervo TJ. If when it mirror matches, we squid party. I don't know if the other team's gonna squid party. Yeah, we've been buying a lot of tryhards. All right, let's see what the new map mode is. Okay. I remember uh, the first night was um the first mode. What the map combo was Undertow Spillway and Eel Tail Alley. Yep. Flounder Heights and Hammerhead Bridge. That's doable. I'm just gonna get some stuff, and there we go. Alright. I'm gonna make the room again. Okay. Alright, there we go. I like the jukebox, but I hate that it, it, it doesn't... It, 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 there's no song randomizer in, in general anymore. <laughs> there's no song randomizer in the jukebox? No, like, like... Like, no, in the ambience. Like, there probably is a randomizer, but... You know, like, before they add the jukebox, like, songs would just play randomly? Uh-huh. Yeah, like, they, like, I feel like the one after they added the jukebox, they kind of took that away. Hey. Hmm. I see. Oh, speaking of which, jukeboxes. Like, I remember, like, when, when I would get DreamWorks films on DVD, they have, like, a jukebox of all the different music. They had license for it. Did Disney ever have jukeboxes? Isn't there DVD stuff? I don't know. Um, do you see the? Ri Hang on. Let me send a notification out. Um, password and pool code are the same. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's eight. There's six hundred people. Seven hundred people on right now besides us. I think some of them might be playing in the Splatfests. Alright. Oh, hang on a second. I was like, I was like, gonna pop your stream and then the video I had. Ads are playing. Wait, ads are playing on my videos? No, 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 no. No, a video I. No, I was gonna pull up your stream on a different window. Joe and the video. Uh, video. So I opened up on just started play, playing because I forgot to pause it. It's. You don't have any ads. Hmm. That's a relief. Because yeah. I'm not even monetized yet. I do kind of want to turn off affiliate, affiliate but I th think... But I think they, like, like Twitch now makes you pay a $12 fee if you want to turn off affiliate, which is so stupid. I get it, you're owned by Amazon, and Amazon is a glutton for money. Yeah, but seriously. See, yeah, that's frustrating. No. And so I'm kind of stuck, stuck him. Mm. 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 Well, I was like ten. About the uh, Squid Sisters um outfits um earlier for Spring Fest, I saw what people thought of Shiver's outfit for the Spring Fest, and people started calling it "quote unquote" unpleasant gradient, which is oh yeah, the unpleasant. That was just rude. Okay, just because Shiver's on so much Splatfest doesn't mean you can be a can be a jackass to her. Yeah, speaking of jackass, I like talking to some people about like you know the the film series Jackass. Uh-huh. I, 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 like, I remember I was like talking to them. To them. I'm super slash salad. <laughs> and 
And, and I think like we got on top of that. I remember like I remember like because I have Discovery Plus. I remember like seeing that they did a couple Shark Week specials. I'm like I should probably check that out. Oh, that point. would be a great show. That would be great for Shiver to watch on Discovery Channel. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know Jack her motifs are sharks. Uh, her yeah, last shark, name yeah, called the hero is Japanese for great white shark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forget when Shark Week is, but I know like like a lot of people have done stuff stuff with Shark for Shark Week. <laughs> Usually two weeks after Canada Day, two or three weeks after Canada Day. Yeah, I need to go. I need to watch the Jackass Shark Week because I've I've seen a little bit of ja Jackass with Jackass in an an episode, so sort of tank tank with part of the guy that did it like one one of funny fish tank but that also had a prank in it. <laughs> Huh. It, it, which was which was like, it appeared to be a beer keg here, you know, on the side of it. But but when you pull it, it punches you in the nuts. <laughs> I will say, um, I do like the uh, design they did for Shiver actually for the Spring Fest, with the uh, with the green shawl, turquoise leggings, and uh, pink heels. I haven't seen. Shoes, um, like, I have not looked closely at this stuff yet. Yeah, <laughs> and I keep running. And like my brain, I sometimes my brain all pilots. Same here. Oh, we got so I, like, out. Seen the, so I haven't seen the deep cut outfits. I think I've seen the off the hook outfits. But... Yeah, they were talking about the art book. And speaking of art books, um, a uh, I actually a um, a charity project uh, project I got Pixel Empire for uh, Scott the Waz's uh, merchandise for charity Bonanza um actually got delivered um last week the uh, archives book which doubles up as a behind the scenes um book and an art book. Oh yeah, the level up book. I think I've heard that. <laughs> there, there's an inch. I've like purchasing a lot of art books now. Like recently, I saw an interesting art book. Book. It was like a cosplay show showcase of various Blizzard characters. Hmm. Isn't Blizzard I, owned by Activision currently? Yeah, I think it was before that. The don't think the state of the book. It was before that. The, though, because like the spine was falling apart. It was one of those used bookstores that. Uh, it was like in one of those used bookstores where it's like, that, that feels like, okay, that was like owned by one person, where you can to tell, like, okay, this is like some someone's like, this is a store, but this is a storefront, it's kind of disguised for my. So maybe potential hoarding problem. Mm -hmm. You know, some days, well, I wish um, chapters would, um, would stock more of the. Uh, stock more, like, you know, video game books. Like, I don't want to have to drive out of Toronto. To get yeah, 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 I feel yeah. Because like, keep I, I in mind, I saw my car. I think because I remember I saw the Splatoon, I was Splatoon, 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 Splatoon art book, book like to, to, to be ordered. Oh, back when, back when, when they're they ordering things still were worked. In, like actually, no way in, in in available in chapters one once, but I couldn't find it. it and it, it's it's been lost since. So it was something else black probably. Like where was it? It was probably in the kids' section for some stupid reason, but... Well, it's because... It's mainly because Splatoon's marketed as a uh, children's game in the West, mainly because usually parents freak out about sh kids playing shooter video games. I still think it's funny. Most of the kids who play uh, Call of Duty and Halo... Most of the people who play Call of Duty and Halo are kids who feel... are kids because they think with the voice chat they can say whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. And I only saw one festival show. Speaking of seeing like the Call of Duty players, did you see? It? I remember like watching some clips, clips, some clip, clips about when Splatoon three won best multiplayer player. Uh -huh. There and some Call of Duty people basically just being hypocrites about. Basically yelling hypocrisy. See how Splatoon's win, and like saying how Splatoon three has been, how Splatoon's been the same ever si since day one. And like, are same you sure Call about of Duty. that? Well, <laughs> like, you, you can't really do much with a four v four paintball match. Mm. That's why you gotta include other stuff too. Mm. I mean, mm. I kind of like the table turf battle, not because of it being mo, but it being a reference to Nintendo's origins as a car manufacturing company. That yeah, card. Mm. Yep. Mm. And once again, we got hit with a mirror match.
Oh, I got two chargers. And a custom... One of them's a custom E-leader. Uh. At least it's a mirror match, so... Yep. Mm. Alright, after this match, I'm, uh... I'm gonna press stop so we can have Urbo TJ join in again, because he left. Yep. Ah. Wow, these people didn't paint their base! Yeah, you leaders for you. I just charge your mains for you, they don't. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this, it's gonna be a miracle if, uh... If Little Bunnies wins the, uh, wins the Spring Fest. Yes, I yeah. know, um, I know that, um, who was it again? Mm. I know that Team Ghost did win Splatoween, but then I even feel like they barely won it. It was barely. And I still think Spicy versus Sweet versus Sour, when a fries only two wins, was a fluke. Oh my god, how do we already have three quarters of the map covered? What the heck is this team? Oh, someone's gonna pass me. That was me who got one past. Okay. Bro? Larry. How do I have seven fizz bags already? Well, I guess I can hold them now. <laughs> I don't care. What the? First time playing Dread Ringer or something? You know, I would love to see a charger made out of a hockey stick. <laughs> a hockey stick charger, yeah. I feel like a hockey stick would make a better brush, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say a hockey stick brush is a lot better than How do we win that 71 to 15? I not that yet, but yeah. I do feel like if they are going to make a thing between weapon based on, based on sports, it's more likely going to be baseball, because I know baseball is really popular in Japan. I'm a little surprised we got curling bombs. The only country curling as popular is our home country, Canada. Yeah. Which is why I was excited like, for the curling the challenge. All right, I'm gonna stop. We're gonna yeah. let um. I'm thinking. Don't go to Sarah for a second. I got some Sarah skills in front of me. I'm just gonna make a new room, and Herbal TJ can hop back in. I know that can jump back in. Alright, take your time, like I said. Just like... Hmm. 
Right. Just like looking at different, different. I was looking at a server that was like a meme, a meme of a Twitter post asking if Shadow should be, should be become a reoccurrence in every Sonic game, and then apparently Walmart of Canada responded yes. Hmm. Well, like Walmart of Canada. They actually have a, they have a Twitter account for gaming. Yeah. 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 No, I feel like Shadow should be. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It depends on. On the game. Game. <laughs> I'm not saying Shadow is overrated. I just feel like there are certain. St I just feel like he doesn't make sense when they try to do a silly, sillier story. <laughs> Going to a poll that's not saying Shadow anymore. can't be funny, but. I'm just. Going to a poll Sega Japan in 2009. Um, Shadow's actually the second most popular Sonic character. Makes sense. So it's just kind of the. It's kind of like an emo pop culture icon. On, like to the point where some people joke that he's a hot topic mascot. <laughs> really? Yeah. I haven't seen. I have seen uh, videos of other people playing a uh, Shadow to Head Shadows game from 2005. <laughs> and honestly, I'm going. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, I actually did find a channel playing some Shadow 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 recently. It was what's it called? Lyro, I think is how it's pronounced. And my question is. Who the fuck at Sega thought that damn game was a good idea? <laughs> What's so funny? I uh, you, you got a point though. <laughs> though it's who, who thought that game was good too. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think it was just because of like character popularity. Or they and people wanted things like be spooked, like dark and gritty. Do they did that? Yeah. It was the 2000s. It, was, it, it does feel like it does kind of feel like that. It feel like Twilight Princess. Well, it does kind of feel like it has some similar lo logic of Twilight Princess has behind behind it. Like this is back when people were on dark and gritty games. Here's the thing: it was the two. It was the early to mid 2000s, and the only types yeah. of games that were liked by gamers back then were the ones where you killed people and the ones that were uh, that <laughs> looked like quote unquote realistic. But looking back, those games look ugly. And some of them wouldn't, yeah. even be real, wouldn't even be acceptable in today's society. Yeah. 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 That being said, um, despite the fan backlash of the reveal of Wind Waker, it was actually well received by both the yeah. public and the uh, and the press. Yeah, so this is a very much just because we have the best in the spot. <laughs> You're getting swamped by tryhards. Two Ed Zap 89s and Perry Dooleys. And 96 Deco, I believe. I believe that's 96 Deco. <laughs> Just jump to me if you're frustrated, Black Man. What, what'd you say? I'm not Just frustrated. Just jump to me if you're being. I'm not frustrated yeah. right now. I was just, uh. Yeah. It's a mirror match, though, so. We can screw around. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Where'd TJ go? Oh, he's up there. How did you two get up there? There's a climbable wall on the other side. Ah, <laughs> I see. Oh, someone just had to stop the party. <laughs> Honestly, Orange Team, I wanna take you away. Escape with to the music, DJ, let it play. I just can't <laughs> refuse it, and I don't wait. <laughs> Please don't come and do okay. it. Please don't. I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> That's alright. I've I broken out the skipping songs before as well. Oh, I, I remember that I song. I, I, I sing it like, like, like the famous songs. Uh, so I recently, like, found. found Found how uh, because I think you probably like heard of like how such celebrities like she like, like Jennifer I think what's her, what's her name Demi Lovato and Jennifer Lopez had to re-record a bunch of their song song so I think Cash was also on this list as well because of like like pred because of, like predatory record label contracts and they wanted to get out out of Taylor out Swift of, did that and they mentioned with the lawsuits but and so they had to re-record a bunch of their songs I and, and, and I found that Demi Lovato actually re-recorded her her bunch of her. A lot of her like popular ones like heart attack, 
to have incompetent as rock songs. <laughs> I'm gonna say this though. Um, uh. it was weird Taylor Swift doing that, starting it all, <laughs> the whole re-recording. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll party again from your match. Yeah, we tried to, but we keep getting part try hards. Oh, man. I feel like this is why Saturday afternoon is one of the least popular times. If you're on the most popular team to play Splatoon. Mm -hmm. I got at least four mirror matches with Hyper Tiger last night. Yeah. Let's play till 100x. Um, I feel like the stream might end by that point, but we'll see if we get a. All right, we got a normal match. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Where would the, the aisles are gonna look like for the next for the next platoon? I don't know. I wouldn't mind having them reuse uh, Fry and Shiver, especially considering one of them. Oh. Forfeiture. Disconnect, oh no. And this was a legit match. <laughs> I feel your pain. Going. How long is stream? I'm going till 3 30. I'm not sure what PP will think of this opinion, but I feel like if played dude, dude, wait for the fourth game, game maybe bump the, the, the maps in the rotation up to three. Huh? What do you think? About the rotation? Yeah, like maybe bump the map to the three instead of just being two. Hmm. Squad two and three still updating, so we'll have to wait. I think probably by the earliest, late 2024, if not late 2025, before we get I, before we start brainstorming what we want to see from the next Squad two. Yeah. But I would like to see Fry and Shiver maybe come back, mainly because one of the biggest complaints I had was that they were mm -hmm. um. Was that was some folks didn't really like their roles as the intake as villains. I thought the role of villains was cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Trying to take they're trying to take things up. Though sometimes I wonder if Nintendo didn't really want to include the Squid Sisters in Alterna and only fruit in there because of the whole bring back Cali trash that was rampant during early Splatoon 2. I feel like Nintendo pretty much sometimes will do certain stuff, not because they want to, but to get the fans out of their own hair. Because... Yeah, 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 I can see... I can't really say, cause I say that, because I don't like looking to fan too much, but I can say that. It's just a hypothesis I have. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I know Nintendo does like nostalgia debating, but I can understand. But like Splatoon fans kind of did voice how they were sick of fighting DD Octavio, Octavio pretty clearly after Splatoon 2 came out. Well, at least he isn't. Well, at least he's not the enemy, the main enemy in in Return of Mammalians. Oh, Pro, watch yeah. out for the screen! Watch out for the screen! Yep, I saw it. <laughs> I will say, though, I think it was semi-understandable why they'd bring Agopolis Plaza back. Because there yeah. weren't many people who uh, got Splatoon 1. Yeah. 
In Goblin Square, I never really need a seat back, because I can just go play Splatoon 2 if I want to. Yeah, that was a, ne a little unnecessary, but I get why they did that. <laughs> why not? It's, it's, a bit, it's a kind of a why not kind of thing, but... That's why they said Cider does seem to be taking place in, like, some virtual reality version of the uh, plaza. True. I, I really like Sidor a lot. Yeah, I need to play but it. I will say, though, with the complaints about how it's too short and not really, and doesn't have much of a, what they expect from roguelikes, I'm gonna say this. Sidor was Nintendo's first attempt at making a roguelike, so it'd be sure yeah, to lose it's not gonna be, to it's go not gonna be a whole other Hades. Calm down. Um, yeah, it was Nintendo's first attempt at a roguelike. Calm down. I wouldn't be, however, Nintendo making an original roguelike game in the future, though. Oh yeah, that'd be so good. Cool. Right. Speaking of roguelikes, sometimes when I talk about like some other Somebody Sonic DC'd fan. on Bear Cubs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it's further up in the match if we won't get a disconnect, but I'm going to base. We're not going to base to make it bear. I'm going to hop on over. I got drinks on my end. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but what I was trying to say before we got interrupted, interrupted is I know like some people want like on Sega to make games of other Sonic char characters, and a lot of people would like like for SPO the community to have a game with game with roguelike elements. <laughs> that that would be a bad idea. But here's the thing: back during the back during the 2000s, one of the biggest criticisms of the Sonic the Hedgehog games was the ensemble cast. Yeah. I don't think having an ensemble cast is bad, just as long as you can properly utilize it. Yeah, yeah, Sega needs to learn to fully to utilize the cast, re relearn how to utilize their cast better again. I mean, Sonic Heroes had a good new... setup, but it was ruined by having four branching, four overarching story paths instead of one path with everybody. Yeah, like, okay, as um, as big of a dumpster fire as a six, six. Says I did for the people, for the people that have been playing and enjoying P the PO six thing game, which is us improving things on like 06, they've realized hmm, they realized how, how 06 handled multiple char characters was a lot, lot better. Having three different stor story lines with three different characters. Oh, some got this bump. <laughs> nice. Um, and, 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 and just having any additional char characters be like the, like additional side details in the story. <laughs> story be I. I guess today that's another. I think, think I think there's a there's a Sonic YouTuber that that summarized it way better than I did. Mm. Did did I show you that later if you want to see it? Yeah. And I think they also tried, tried experimenting with the, that one again with again with and with but with, with, with the final rise rising in frontiers. Hmm. I know it's I know it's kind of jank, but jank, but hey. Hmm. Oh yes. Um. Oh, we lost Erbo TJ. Hmm. Set tight, we'll have you join the next available match. Alright, battle time. Actually, I do have that guy's that Sonic YouTuber I was talk talking about. Uh, Alright, we're going against baby chicks. Mm -hmm. Just know that chicks will not stay fuzzy for long. They'll turn yeah. into chickens like Foghorn Leghorn. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I still remember my, my. Well, I still remember, like. Like, by my first interactions with the chick, check in, like, like my co- I was listening to my co- co-worker. Co-worker. First play. And then she took me to see one of her brat. Friends that had chicken. Chicken, she had, like, three of them. And because I was wearing a hoodie, one of them jumped up to pick up my, sh my hoodie strings. 
I mean, it's not too scary, but it was not that bad compared to how she just. Oh, we got died, two like, end zaps on our team. That means no. double the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how tactical our main teams go, but we'll see. Yeah, Ed's up. 85 beam team is gonna give a lot of drinks for the homies. <laughs> hey kids, tell your parents don't drink and drive. Yeah. Well, that was a hearty dose of instant karma. Oh, we almost got rid of them all. Yeah. Oh, look at, the, look at this, uh, look at that pose somebody made up of Shiver holding baby chips. Yeah. Oh, wait, chickens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. That's like, it's like, it's like I, I had thought that I lost it. Alright, all right, yeah, chickens. <laughs> chickens, like, coworkers, French chickens. <laughs> chickens are like, they, one of them also like a messed up beehive. <laughs> beehive, I did She explained it to me. To me, it was basically trying to have their rabbit that, that like, attacks the, the chicken, chicken butch. But apparently, the gang of rabbit knew, knew, knew it is extremely risky. True. <laughs> but I still wonder, what came first, chicken or egg? Egg. I honestly don't care about that to me. <laughs> It gets like it's one of those it goes in circles debates. Yeah. But sure, it it can be a good oh, one. I cried. What? The charger mains. I don't know if we'll be able to throw them out. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. You make them the charge. I will admit, I want all those Call of Duty players who's like, said, said Splatoon did this, but they didn't deserve to win to try Splatoon. Okay, don't worry, you can turn off most of controls. Controls, I mean, gyroscope, Gyroscopes are not required, but because the gyroscope, but a lot of people who play third person shooters states that the reason why they don't like playing third person shooters on consoles is because sticks isn't as, as accurate as like a mouse. Yeah. However,. One of the things, however, Nintendo was able to solve it with Splatoon using the gyroscope. That to the point that now, whenever a, a third-person shooter is released on Nintendo Switch, it's actually mandatory that gyroscopes are an option. I think I, I also think just a lot of Call of Duty players are closed-minded as well. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. The App Division uses Call of Duty like a cow farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing about Call of Duty I, I enjoy is the JT music raps. That's about it. Like, those right. are pretty good. Uh, did you press stop? Time. Because, uh, uh... Nope. Alright. Nope. Oh, no. It's just so I'm like, I'm just letting Herbo TJ back in. Nope, 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 I can cancel. Oh, whoops. I, I didn't put happen. a password on this. I didn't put a password on this one, so... If this thing fails before you hop in, I'm gonna re I'm gonna remake the room with a password. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I know that, um, you know, like, one of the things that's pretty cool about the English translations, um, for Splatoon 1, um, is that, um, how, um, in, for Octo Expansion and, um, the Shifty Stations in 2, they actually yeah. named them after, um, after s series of books and an 80s pop culture. Um, yeah. They actually, um, most other countries didn't actually do that at all. Because I actually did some search for Google tr for uh, for Wikipedia and I actually found out that oh my screen might be frozen on my end. Please don't be a disconnect. Please don't be a disconnect. Please don't be a disconnect.
Communication error occurred. Ah, nice work, Team Mobile. Nice one, a triple free X battle. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, great. All right, I'm gonna remake the room. It was going so well. Hello? Same password? Yep. Communication error, error doesn't happen this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Clona <laughs> took so many pictures of the uh of the Moai statues yeah. in the plazas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a mirror match. <laughs> Alright. It's time to make like Wayne's World and Party On. <laughs> Suffer no fools. What do you think of this song? You don't like this song, or? I said, what do you think of that song? It's interesting. I heard people call, uh, I heard someone actually call for all the quote unquote real squid shady. Because, <laughs> you know, that's Eminem's nickname. <laughs> real squid. <laughs> squid shady. I will yeah. say. Um, if you're wondering about the uh, running gag of Fry's hatred for uh, Inkopolis, this actually comes from a historical context in Japan. Because yeah. uh, the ba the Splatsville is based off of the Bankara movement during the Meiji era, which yeah. was the traditional Japanese. And then the Haikara was actually based off of the, uh, the, moder the uh, Western integration of... Or... I'll have to look it up. I do remember reading yeah. it in a, an inter developer interview that Shintaro Furukawa, President of Nintendo, had before the game came out. That did reveal yeah. um, about the difference between the high Kura lifestyles and the bank Kura lifestyles of historic Japan, and that's where um, Fry's hatred for Inkopolis comes from. Okay. Which I thought that was actually pretty clever. It wouldn't be a Nintendo game without one reference to Japanese culture. Yeah. Oh shoot, watch out for the screen. Yeah, I'm just in my main spot anyways. We're gonna hop over to TJ and just party. Alright. Apparently no one wants to party. No. Fine, if they're gonna fight, I guess I have no choice but to fight. <sighs> At least this was a mirror match, so I'm not worried if we lost. Act like it's okay. Right. And once again, I get crushed by a roller. <laughs> Do these people not understand? 
It's a mirror match, there's no point. <laughs> wonder if the attitude of the uh, of the fans has changed from playing to have fun from playing to win. It's uh, just something I wonder. Yeah. There definitely are some people that are like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, like, you'll... Oh, God, in Subpro Chair, how you doing? Don't like, worry, it's this like guy. That, like that video I sent you about, like, the Pokemon. It talks about... Like that video about the Patchy Reese. With the thing I sent you, it, it does try to talk about like player psychology. Hmm. There are some people that I'll play for fun, some pe and some people play to win, win, eh. and some people play to meme. <laughs> meme. I like playing to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. The, the car. What did they care? Hey, Raj, they, they. It was like it was actually like a survey, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Been cre created that the this video use uses where they realize there's there three there's like a three a spectrum of three different types of players. Timmy's, Johnny, he's and Spikes. Timmy's are the ones that play for fun for fun fun. Johnny's are the ones that play for the funny funnies and Sp Spikes are the ones that play to win. win. Timmy's are the casuals, Johnny's are the the, the weird theory crafters, hmm. crafters, and Spikes are the tournament players, basically. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I know, like, the whole little Timmy is sometimes used as a negative joke in the community. That's kind of like a joke in the community for when people are being dumb, but... <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> True. Oh, actual match. I'm right here. So just right behind you. It's an actual oh, match. Oh, it ain't jet. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Oh, just switch to the uh, NZAP 89. Had a, that guy just had it right behind me. Well, he got instant car mud. <laughs> They're throwing stuff on our base. I got drinks headed in a corner. Ah, I got splatted. Okay, good thing I got my drinks. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Canned heat? Yeah. It's a sound by a uh, Jamiroquai. Oh, I just have oh, very I... rude. Did I just blast him with a fizz bomb? I don't know. They did I don't think... do a yeah, we didn't win this one. 
Ja, natürlich, dass sie bekommen hat. Sie. No. Yeah. Almost. Pretty close, though. I got a little bunny's roar. Yeah, I'm still on champion. time once again. Alright, we're up against Baby Chicks. It's kind of odd how Baby Chicks has a green color instead of yellow. Like, green is the color for frogs. Not Baby Chicks. Yeah, well, bears isn't brown either. <laughs> True. And, the North and pink isn't white. There's, I mean, bunnies have some white. This is the fun pastel colors that Easter usually brings. True. Yeah, Easter was really early this year. It is. It was. One. I, I, because I, I, I'm because I was born I'm born in April. I, I actually did like check, check and see if it has my birthday ever happened on April. And apparently my seventh did. <laughs> I do not remember it though. Yeah. Hey, what was that again? Never mind. Oh, we're actually winning. Yeah, I'm kind of base invading right now. <laughs> well, at least I got most of the map covered. Well, time to patch holes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do too. Actually, I'll run out. I think because I think flat dealers are usually more considered a slayer weapon. <laughs> Do you know what we've been up here doing like a Mario Kart collab then? Oh, we did that once again. Right. We did that with Photon Shed actually. Yeah. You're doing that again? You can. If you mm -hmm. if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was fun and I need to get Parrot Mario Kart. Because <laughs> right, who knows when that Mario Kart 9's releasing? I well, not for a while, but I so. I don't know why we really need another Mario Kart game when not only do we have 8 Deluxe, but first, I don't think we really need another mainline Mario Kart. What I'd like to see is a Nintendo crossover racing game. Oh, well, that'd be fun. <laughs> fun. I know, like, there are some people that want Son Sonic to show up <laughs> up in the DLC. That would be funny. I actually, I know actually, ha actually want, uh... you know what? That, that actually, I know Sonic has tried to do racing games, too. Seems to, to like, and and since there's always hasn't been the new Mario song at the Olympics, seeing them do, seem like they can cross over their kart racers would be fun. <laughs> but, I guess uh, like I, like like either do do like Sonic characters in Mario Kart or Mario car characters in Sonic Riders. <laughs> I think I Sega so. may have lost interest in the series because uh because COVID nearly caused uh, 2020 games to get shut down. Yeah. 
they did, get the, they did get delayed to 2021, but it wasn't until Canada and Australia threatened to pull out of the, out of the Olympics that they went ahead as originally yeah. scheduled. Which actually yeah. was the smartest move, actually. Yeah. Because Great Britain was about to have joined um, Australia and Canada as well. Wow. Pulled... Wait, what'd you like, say? Like, I, 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 they're not, well, like, Canada, Australia, and almost Britain. And almost the UK, wow. Yeah. I like it. Those are not like I know we're Canada's kind of Canada, so I can seem kind of small in the grand scheme of the, the things, but when you think about but I think when you think about those countries for the Olympics, yeah, that's kind of insane. Same, but, in, but totally understandable. Oh. I will say, Australia's not really much of a sports country. Like, the only thing they really do a lot of is cricket and rugby, and, um, and also yeah, uh, soccer because. Australia has become a regular at the World Cup in recent years. Yeah, and I don't know if Canada's like big on the winter sports. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's, people, it's, um... it's 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 part of the stereotype. It's like winter sports in Canada is part of the stereotype. <laughs> Maybe. True. Yeah, yeah many, uh, many, many. It's been unanimously agreed by many of the press that the 2000 Summer Games in Sydney are often considered to be one of the best Olympic Games ever hosted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even the IOC agreed with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think I think for like the 2020, they, the Paralympic mascot even came came back came back back as, as Australia's overall all Paralympic mascot. Mm -hmm. Yep. I also heard that apparently the the Liz, Lizzie's updated design was also done by a furry artist. Oh. <laughs> Which I find hilarious, actually. I did act, um, the IOC actually did reveal what the original plan for the, uh, that one of the original plans for the uh, 2020 games had COVID not happened, was that Shigeru yeah. Miyamoto himself was actually going to light the torch. Wait, Shigeru Miyamoto? Who's, wait, isn't that the guy Nintendo? Yeah. He's like, the, uh, he's the current, uh, intellectual property, uh, property, um, partner for Nintendo. Wow, that would've been insane. <laughs> and it's actually really cool. Cool, because like Nintendo was kind of like like one of those well-recognized international companies from Japan. So it's the most well-recognized company from Japan, recognized internationally. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I would probably argue um, companies like Sony or um, or oh, Nissan yeah, so or Mitsubishi or even Panasonic. Oh yeah, for Sony, well Japanese, but yeah, but I, but I, I get, but yeah. I can see why they would want Nintendo, but I can see. Yeah, but I just feel like in the, in the minds of the younger generations, I think Nintendo is usually the first thing we think about, like, the Japanese companies. <laughs> I sometimes forget Sony, because I, I will admit, until now, I did not realize Sony was Japanese. <laughs> yes, their headquarters are in Minato City, Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> I heard Mori Towers was based off of Minato City, because that's Tokyo's business district. <laughs> <laughs> I do like remember what I do remember. Like, I didn't. I never watched the, the Olympics, but like so, I do remember watching like a, a couple of videos about the um, them like them like like the like Japan's open opening ser ceremony for the 2020 Olympics. <laughs> the Olympics they actually they did that funny puppet puppet show in the pictograms. <laughs> <laughs> And so, anyway, I was like, I was like, first of all, I was like, this has, has to do with some type of Japanese theater. And I looked it up, apparently there's a type of Japanese theater called Masquerade that actually kind of influenced how anime was made. <laughs> it's I'm like, oh, that... Out, um, the Anarchy Black mm -hmm. House is actually based off of uh, Japanese radio. Yeah, it is. Okay, I actually need to, I need to use the bathroom, so I need to take a break for a second. Alright, I will stop the uh, room. Okay. Alright, there. Hey, so. Wait, so. 
Just make sure you press stop. Yeah, I know. This guy waited for me to scroll through. Alright. I'll do a pro battle until you get back. See you later, Ro TJ. Hope you glad you enjoyed your night. Glad you enjoyed us. Alright. Alright, so we're on Mahi Mahi now. Things should be going a little smoother, so. Let's see. Oh, this match is gonna end in. We're gonna end in forfeiture. Ah, crud. Already? That video. <laughs> no, a Sonic video that didn't. Alright. Yeah. I guess I'll just continue. So, I tried to get yeah. in a pro battle, but... Yeah. But somebody on my team DC'd somehow in the first 10 seconds, so the match ended in forfeiture. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. But, by the way, this is... That, I, I, I found that video talking about... That was talking about how Sonic 06 handled multiple characters. <laughs> Excellent. I'll take a look at it when I got time. Yeah. You remember this? Yeah. You know what? Looking at the models, I roll. Because if you push down the fluff, maybe Sora is one of the few Sonic character characters you can that has, that has a neck. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, if you need somebody else, if you need to, uh, if you go, um, <laughs> if you want to play with more people, um, after this is uh, after we're done, um, I know yep. Jacobian's gonna be doing, um, is doing battles all day actually. Around four, he's gonna be actually starting doing viewer battles. Right now, he has hey. um, Captain Fry and Louis and Sky Strainer with him. Yeah, I, I actually have some baking to fin finish up and try. Baking to finish up, actually. Hmm. And just making some strawberry sauce to. So, uh, so oh. I like, cause I want it because I like, I need to get some more for like fruit in my. Like, I need to get some more for like fruit and veggies in my di diet, but I've always had like such textural issues when it comes to, to, to those. So, so I'm making some very pure 
puree. Crazy because we're going, going muffins. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, thank goodness the internet exists. Otherwise, trying to find recipes for that would be hell. I'll be honest, I'm not going to be doing it the old school way of, of just fucking around and finding out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Open season. Are those the names of the people on Inner Team? Yeah. I also just like buying craft books. <laughs> Like, I have too many. Mm. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> oh, you had to be out there. Manning ball. Oh, that's heavy, not ball point. Thought that was ball point. All right, loading is gone. <laughs> I got drinks on the other side. It's why I lost music. Oh, they're on our base. Oh, missed. Wide open season. Oh, we lost. They lost somebody. At least it's laying up in the game. Oh. All right, here to drinks. All right. Oh, and and I got three of the opponent's fizz bangs. Good. I don't know how we cannot lose this. Oh, we gotta wipe out. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, we got the enemy team. Alrighty. Oh, I got all three golds! Nice. What was okay? I just remember like I think I like we were hard talk. I kind of like what I could do with Mario and Sonic again. Can I yeah. maybe? And how you said you want want like a crossover Mario Kart? Maybe they 
Maybe Ma Star Mario and Sonic Kart. <laughs> The reason I, I wanted both... to see a Nintendo Racing crossover game is because um, there's a lot of because <laughs> ah, you my end. Anywho, you're saying because the um, why in case you didn't notice in uh in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there are actually a lot of non Mario stuff in uh in yeah. the DLC stuff tracks. There's stuff from yeah, Zelda, they're... Animal Crossing, um, F Zero, even Splatoon. So and yeah. it's, and Excite Bike as well. So that's why I feel like a Nintendo Racing crossover would make sense for the future of Mario Kart. Yeah. How to go from Mario Kart to Nintendo Kart? Or basically. True. I think that I think that should be the next Nintendo Racing game. I just. But yeah, F Zero actually got getting revived last year as a uh, as a battle royale for nine nine players. Yeah. That... Yeah. I tried to get into it, but I but they had but you're forced to go through tutorials. I don't want to play tutorials. I just want to play the damn video game. Yes, I don't read the instruction manuals when playing video games. Or do I? Heck, I like it. They look quick, like tech. Like, I recently finally got, I think I already said this earlier, but I recently finally got a third-party Xbox controller to play PC game. Mm -hmm. And then I start up Sonic Generations with, test it out. And I immediately turned off on me, Joe. And this is our Joe. 11th mirror match. And I think that also would be cool, like, for Sonic and Mario. Right, if, first, and maybe for another attempt at Sonic Riders to have some of the Mario characters come over. <laughs> over. You wanna know what killed Sonic Riders? Connect. Yeah. Yeah, they're... The only thing Kinect is good for is just dance and not much else. Yeah. I do really like this. Yeah. Yeah. I need another... Yeah. Oh, mirror match, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the enemies will join us in, uh... In yeah. squid partying? We'll see. Yeah, I, I will admit they in their IGW comics they recently did do an arc, or did do a little Sonic Riders arc. <laughs> Argo, so hopefully it's I believe it. Yeah, I mean, it means that I want to do some some, some Riders things. You know what? You said how how sometimes Sega of America kind of license hints the restaurant deal behind Sega of Japan's back. Was yeah. there, do you think there's any possibility that the Archie license was also so Nintendo America doing things behind, behind Japan's back? Yeah. No, oh, not explained that they don't, don't acknowledge it. Mr. Naka was not thrilled with all the different types of stuff that the other that Sega Japan and Sega of Europe were doing by putting it, by having their own cannons. That um I think his last straw was um was Sonic Underground. Which eventually led to, um, which led to Yuji Naka enforcing a strict canon only from J into the games. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I get some people still like it, but that explained a lot. I will say, the one thing I know some people, I know some people still. About how yeah, Splatoon is how it, um, is how it moves and is how it goes forward in real time, but. We're a final Splatfest, which I don't want to see for a year and three months. At the, if possible, would be past versus present versus future because I really actually wonder what would Splatoon have looked like in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s? Mm -hmm. It's something I've always wondered. Yeah, I'll see. In the general 80s vibe of Splatoon. This isn't even a mirror match, and already I'm invading the players' as the opponents' base. Um.
Alright. I'm gonna break the room so we can let Herbal TJ come back in. Okay. Another time spell went from little bunnies. <laughs> All right, rooms back up. Okay. I need to just give it back my dust. No, okay. <laughs> Alright. You see the room? Yep. Alright. Hop in whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. We should be good to go. Yep. Uh, black man is talking about your mic. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? I like. I like. Some. I heard some other noise coming from your mic. <laughs> I uh, don't hear any noise from my microphone. No, like, I, I, I heard some like background noise. I think was what I meant to say. Oh, I think some people must have came home. Yeah. Air again. <laughs> don't worry. They know not to uh, come into this room when I'm streaming. Yeah, mine don't. <laughs> My parents don't. Hang on a minute. Can you hang on a minute, actually? I need to, uh. <laughs> I'm going to uh, mute myself, actually. <laughs> so that's as I say it. Okay, we're good now. We're good. That's to say they don't bother you when you're streaming, they bother you while you're streaming. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're losing, we're losing. Just as I got my drink. Oh, TJ seems to be doing good. Oh, someone try to sneak in. Okay, that doesn't go according to plan. Oh, 
Don't worry, I got the auto brush. Yep. Mm. Now we just gotta get out of. Oh, someone's going for the base. All right, he's out. Would you want to play a co-op Mario game? A co-op Mario game? Yeah, like a lot of the Mario game, the new, the recent Mario games have co-op kind of happily. Yeah. yeah I... Unfortunately, Mario Wonder doesn't really have a traditional on play, but. Considering what happened with 3D worlds and how it can be unreliable at times, I think it's a smart move they didn't actually, uh, they didn't go through with a uh, traditional online mode. Yeah, I, yeah, like, I have a copy of 3D world. Same here. I just want Bowser's Fury. <laughs> oh, I actually, I played a bit for Bowser's Fury, but I probably should do that at some point. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I did like Mario Odyssey. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I like Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Some of you want Odyssey, too. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Two little bunnies is actually doing pretty well. <laughs> but I don't think we're gonna win in a sweep. Because um, Bear Cubs won conch shells. Yep, at least so far. Yeah, pretty interesting. They have bubbles on the uh, field. Yeah. <laughs> that. I just remember that. I just remember there's a beat through through me show you that's debuting today. Today, today I'm like, like some people are saying, and some of you are saying she's a has member from a, from a different company. A better oh, from a different I company. Just, I try to escape that blue, but why does this all look like cake frosting? Did you just realize that? I did. I did. I, it took me longer to realize that than to make the comparison to the Squid Sisters costumes looking like stuff out of Strawberry Shortcake. Now oh, we got wiped out. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm storming their base! I'm storming their base! So much for storming their base. I'm just impressed. But hopefully that shouldn't have tied up. I'm just impressed by how long it took it to realize the ink has sprinkles in it. <laughs> yeah.
All right, here we go. Ah, just when I had Tat's core filled up, I die. But I think it's safe to say we won. Yeah. There is no way bear cubs can recover from this unless. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can die from fizz bangs. Yeah, Vipalon actually wondered can you die from fizz bangs? Apparently not. <laughs> Oh, I realize it is 420. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, four. We are approaching the three hour mark. <laughs> No. Oh, I know that. I know that. That's another mirror match. Alright. The next- the match after the, the next match, um, which is coming after this one, is gonna be the final one. Okay. Just imagine if it ended with a 100x. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Paint the base, and we should be all right. Yeah, it's a mirror match, though. True. Okay, at least two people are spread partying. Ah, let me join in. Where are you, people? Uh, the spot. <laughs> Same spot as last time. Perfect. And the paintbrush is saying no fun. Oh my god. Uh the stop having fun guys. Or is there a paintbrush people? too? I got drinks. They don't want some. <laughs> there we go. Why am I not surprised to stop having fun guys with a pain brush? Yeah. Welcome on in, Hognaz. How you doing? <laughs> um, we actually are on That's Team Bunnies. That's what you part of the pain brush. It's like, no fun for you. Yep. Like I got everyone with the pain. I got the everyone in the other team team squeam for playing over except for the pain brush. Ah, uh, this Matana got me. Okay, well, I got two people here. Right, I should say. Or one now. <laughs> Uh, 
I wanted spray paint. <sighs> and then I died. Good. <laughs> to the Splatana again, and he squid begged me. <laughs> the guy jumped off the edge. <laughs> oh man. Because of course. <laughs> I see someone has the lower skates from Grizzco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are, those are funny. Yep. <laughs> last one. <laughs> this next match will be our last one. Yeah. Let's get scale bag now. Oh. Alright, hopefully it's a legit match we end off with. Oh my god, no! I don't believe this. We got a 100x battle. <laughs> what are the chances? Alright, splat today, later's no tomorrow. I had to expel the top of that, I was like, you've been saying this whole time. <laughs> oh, crud, oh, crud. We cannot let them win. We cannot let them win. Alright, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep. Oh. Here. Oh, I got all right. Oh, I got left point. Left We're doing good. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Original pop star. And their name's Callie. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Huh. Yeah. Alright. Thank you! Not Almost! Almost! Oh no, oh no. Oh, they're in danger! That's good, that's it. Oh, we got wiped out, we got wiped out, we got wiped out. We have to, we have to, we have to, here, like a soft spot. Like a soft spot. Cover soft any spot. turquoise you see. Oh crud, oh crud, ah oh, crud, ah oh, crud. Alright. Oh, I tried to oh. do a dive. <laughs> oh no, if we don't, we better not lose this. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, I got, I got hit. All right. Oh my God! They're in a base. They're in a base. All right, they're out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of being their base. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Oh God! We are not winning this. We are not winning this at all. Ah, oh, great! It's over. But hang on. Can we actually make a recovery? Can we make a recovery? Can we make recovery? It's not going to be likely.
Oh my god, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be oh, close. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute to get up for a sec. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. We did win this. We won this. That's by like point by like two points. <laughs> Black man. <laughs> Black man. <laughs> now that is how I like to see the Splatfest <laughs> stream end. I'm sorry, just. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. This was actually great. I will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm gonna text Alec. Congrats. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, don't forget to grab your uh, picture from the uh, uh. from the uh, plaza. I'm yep. gonna go do that right now. <laughs> yeah, I should do that too. All right. You okay if I hang up? Yep. Sure. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Holy crud, that was crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go get my, uh, <laughs> my picture. Alright. Let's go take some photos. So we're going to do some photos in the front of the pledge box. Hey man. This looks pretty nice for a pose. How should we get this angle? <laughs> this thing's perfect. Alright. Now let's do another flow picture on down the back alley. And there we go. And lastly, in front of all the shops. That looks pretty nice. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we got for today. Oh my lord. That was definitely something awesome. I'll be back with Pro Battles and Tricolor tomorrow. And we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe we might pull off a victory, but we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget tomorrow, Tricolor and Pro at around 1 p.m. I'll catch you guys. We're on a time, and then we will finally blow off all the cod shells. <laughs> See you next time.